Hello my friend, welcome to this lesson today where I'm going to help you or guide you on how to draw a circle touching the lines, the sides, edges of a triangle. Welcome. On the board, you can see we have two diagrams which confuse learners most of the time. The first one is a circle touching the three sides of the triangle. This is a triangle. Then we have the circle touching the three vertices. These are the vertices or point U, W, B. Uh, on the other hand, we have a circle which is drawn inside the triangle and it is a circle touching the sides, edges, or lines of the triangle. This is the triangle. Then these are sides or lines or edges. What is the difference when it comes to uh, constructing? If you want to construct a circle touching the vertices, remember the circle is outside. If you compare these two uh, things, that is um, the angles, because you either uh, bisect the lines or bisect the angles, you either bisect the angles or the lines. In this case, if you want to draw a circle touching the vertices, since the circle is outside, remember we have um, angle, then we have lines. Which one is inside and which one is outside? You will find that the two lines are outside when you are comparing to this angle and the angles are inside. So if you want to draw a circle outside, you consider which is outside. And what is outside? The two lines are outside when you are comparing with this um, angle. So it means when you are drawing a circle attaching the vertices or the circle which is outside the triangle, you are supposed to bisect the two lines. Or you bisect any of the two, you can bisect this one and this one, or this one and this one, or this one and this one. So in this case, you bisect any two lines. And remember bisecting means you divide into two, you divide into two, and it must be a perpendicular bisector, meaning it is meeting this line at 90 degrees. Bisect another line, bisect another line, and bisect this line like that. Where the two uh, uh, perpendicular bisectors are meeting, that is the center of the circle, and that is where you put your compass or pair of compass. Then you draw your circle touching the vertices. On the other hand, which is our uh, subtopic today, drawing a circle touching the sides, touching the sides of the triangle, this is what you're supposed to do. Remember here we are saying to bisect the lines because the lines are outside when you are comparing with angle. Since you want to draw a circle outside, in this case, you want to draw a circle which is inside. And when you are comparing the lines and the angle, what is inside? The angle is inside, the lines are outside. Since you want to draw a circle which is inside the triangle, you bisect the angles. You bisect the angles. Bisecting meaning you divide into two equal parts. And that is the center of the circle the center of the circle, where you are supposed to stand, like that. And try to adjust until you touch the sides of the uh, triangle, like that. Let us use that example for you to understand. But that is the difference between a circle touching the vertices and a circle touching the edges or the lines. The first thing when you are drawing this uh, question, the first thing is to read and understand the question. Using a pair of compass and a ruler, construct a triangle UB in W such that the lines B in W is equal to 5 centimeters, UB is equal to 6 centimeters, and UW is equal to 7 centimeters. Draw a circle that touches the sides of the triangle. The first thing is you sketch, even before you go to our steps. You sketch. Sketch your diagram, your, your construction. How will it look like? We will have a triangle. We'll draw a triangle. Then we have a circle touching the lines. These are the lines. 
As circle touching the lens, meaning it is going to be inside like that. Then we have uh, the triangle is uh, VW. Then we have U. VW is 7 centimeters. Then we have VW, sorry. BW is um, 5 centimeters. Then we have UB 6 centimeters. UB 6 centimeters. Then we have UW uh, 7 centimeters. That is our sketch. Remember, we have said when you are drawing a circle which is going inside the triangle, you are supposed to bisect two angles. How do you bisect angles? Let us use an example. How you are supposed to bisect angles, uh, for instance, uh, this uh, angle now. If you want to bisect this angle, this one, if this angle was 60, if you divide it into two equal parts, it will be 30 and 30. So let us uh, bisect, divide that angle into two equal parts, two equal parts. You start where the two lines are meeting, they are meeting at this point, they are meeting at this point. Um, hmm. So you start there. Make two arcs, smaller ones or shorter ones, like that, this side and the other side. You see those two arcs you have made there. Remember, you can adjust where you want, but the shorter the better. The shorter the better. Instead of using a long one, just uh, use uh, a shorter one, shorter measurement. So you just extend. Make a mark. Make sure your pair of numbers is firm. Make a mark like that. Stand on the other point where the two arcs and cut the two lines. There. Like that. Cut the arc which we made. Where the two arcs are meeting here, that is the point you were in need of. So you can make up all there so that you can see what two points are you are joining. Uh, then let us join. Remember we are bisecting angles. We are bisecting angles. So you join that point and this one. Now, this line is a bisector of this angle. This line is a bisector of this angle. So we have bisected our angle, meaning this one and this one are equal. Let us bisect, let us draw that one. Then we come to bisecting uh, the angles in that triangle. So using that sketch, you start by drawing the bottom line. You draw the bottom line which is 5 centimeters. You draw 5 centimeters. Draw 5 centimeters. That is a line, uh, 5 centimeters. This is B. This is W. 6 centimeters. Since we are not given any elbow, you are going to use your pair of numbers to construct or to draw the other lines. From B, you are supposed to measure 6 centimeters. From B, you measure 6 centimeters. You measure 6 centimeters. So you measure 6 centimeters from 0 to where we are 6. Mine is reading 60, but that is what I'm using as 6. So from B, we are drawing an arc whose length is 6 centimeters. Make sure it is long enough because we don't know where it is going to meet with the other arc. From W to U, we have 7 centimeters. Remember, this is a sketch of what we are given here. We use this information to sketch, so we don't need this information too much. So from W to U, you draw or you measure seven centimeters. You measure seven centimeters. There we go. There we go. And seven centimeters. There. So you cut that arc there. And then you join. Where the two arcs have met, join 
that point to U, then W to U. Remember this point is U. Using your eraser, you can just erase these sacks, you don't need them. We just wanted to use them to get this point, which we have done. And uh, now you continue. Remember, I, we have said, if you want to draw a circle which is inside the triangle, you are supposed to bisect two angles. And that is what we have done here. How to bisect angles? <coughs> Let us bisect angle U, B, W. U, B, W, you bisect. You start where the two lines which are making the angle are meeting. Just make a mark. Make another mark. Use those two arcs. Stand there. You can extend your pair of canvas. You can just adjust the way you want. Like that. Make a big arc like that. Stand on the other end using the same measurement. Using the same measurement. Like that. Where the two arcs have made, that is the point we wanted to get. So you just make a hole. Another one, so that you can know the two points you are joining. The two points you are joining. So if you are at that point, you are to the, to the other end. Remember we are bisecting this angle? Yes, like that. This is a bisector of this angle, this one. We have bisected this angle. Remember you are supposed to bisect at least two angles. So we have bisected the first one. Let us bisect the two, or the second angle, which is this one. We can also bisect the other one. So we are now bisecting B, W, U. You stand where the two lines making the angle are meeting. Make a mark like that, so that you cut this line and the other one. You can also make separate, uh, separate mark, like that. Using those two arcs, you can just adjust your pair of compass. Remember, to be safe, so that you don't have too much, you can erase what you have already used, like that. So using these two arcs, just open your compass the way you want, like that. Using the same measurement on the other side, do like that. Then join this arc, where the two arcs have made that point, you join to this one. Join this one. There we are. This is a bisector of this angle. Bisector of this angle, meaning we have divided this angle into two equal parts. Where the two bisectors are meeting, this point, that is the center of the circle we were supposed to show. Remember, we are drawing a circle touching the lines of the triangle. So this is the center of the circle. This is the center of the circle. So you stand there. You can adjust or you can uh, just extend your pair of canvas until you touch the sides of the triangle. Like that. So that is our circle. That is our circle touching the three. So that is our circle. So this is a circle touching the three sides. This is the first side, another side, another side. This is a circle which is drawn inside. So we have said, the first thing is you draw the triangle, then you, uh, you bisect any two angles. You bisect any two angles. You can even bisect this one and this one, or this one and this one, this and this one. Where the two bisectors are meeting, that is the center of the circle. My question is, what is this measurement from here up to here? It is from the center of the circle to the circumference of the circle. How do we call that distance? Is it diameter or it is radius? So what we are using now to draw the circle is the radius. Why? Because it is from the center of the circle 
to the circumference, from the center to the circumference, something like that. So we are using from the center to the circumference, so that is the radius. So if you measure this, um, this length, if you measure this length, uh -huh. if you measure this uh, length, you will get 1.5. So that is the radius. The radius is 1.5 centimeters. If they tell you to get the diameter, we just say the diameter is 2 times 1.5. So you are going to get 3.0, which is just 3 centimeters. So that is how you are supposed to draw a circle touching the lines or sides or edges of a triangle. Thank you very much for watching. You can do more practice, as many questions as possible for you to understand. You can also review the video for you to understand better. Thank you for watching. May God bless you. Bye bye. I salute you.